Okay, so this is your front entryway. And that's your front door. It's right on um, Island Park Drive. This is the like family room or formal living room maybe. Sorry about the noise on the front porch. They're fixing some stuff. This is another sitting area. Either one of these could probably be a dining room or a sitting area. They both have a fireplace. It looks like it's a um, gas fireplace. So they've got the logs in there. Let me give you a view down the center. There we go. Okay. So, living room slash dining room on either side. Um, this side connects with this as an eat-in kitchen area. Here's your um, kitchen. And then your light. And then you have some pull-out stools. Lots of natural light in this home. So this is right past the kitchen. You walk through the kitchen. And it looks like it's kind of its own separate. It's a little storage closet, like a hall closet. And I'm gonna guess this is the garage. We'll go cubbies. People stick your shoes or your books, you know, your backpack or something. Garage. And it is also a three-car garage. Those are probably hurricane um, covers for the windows because they're cut to see the rounded edge there. And you've got a little sink out here. Yeah, so that's nice. Plenty of room out here. Right, there's your electrical panel. Let's just take a little peek. Yeah. Looks updated from the exterior. Drop station as well to put the stuff in. It's kind of a dark gray brown color. The garage. Which has a closet or two. Let's see. Oh, stereo stuff. Your surround sound system. I saw surround stand speakers downstairs. And then it's probably under the attic storage or access to something. And pool table. Here's a half bath. And more storage. Nice big closet. Lots of shelves. There we go. That looks like a mini split up there. The foosball. Man, I love foosball. <laughs> All right. Chandelier. Lots of natural light. So this is all, all accessed from off the kitchen, which has French doors. And then, um, gas grill, which it's, um, let's say, monogram. And let's see, there's your oven and microwave on the top. Wine cooler, air cooler, and dishwasher, some tag. Okay. And this is a sub zero, which the other place had a sub zero as well. Nice pantry, a spice shelf. Lots of um, cabinets. So. I 
think these are granite countertops. More, more um, sitting space here. All right, we'll go upstairs out here on the patio. Here we go. All right, so this is where you could put a pool, but you'd have to like take up all this um, concrete. That's a wraparound porch leads out to the front. This wouldn't be an ideal location for a pool because you'd be like right, there's your neighbors, like right there, watching you in the pool. Here's a nice little fireplace. Looks like it's gas as well. That's kind of cool. Here we go. Lantern lights inside, which are nice. Look at the windows. It's nice. So over here on this end, every bedroom has got its own bathroom. And you can access out here is like this is cool. <laughs> Big map of the United States or the of the world, I should say. And it's got a little Drake is here. Uh, where is that? Right there. Drake is here. South Carolina, Charleston. So got shelving in every um, room, but not like high-end shelving. The floors are nice. They're hardwood. So here's the bathroom for this side of the upstairs. Single sink, but lots of drawers and under the sink. And then you have this little area here that you could sit or something, I don't know what you do with this. So, so, again, shelving, but nothing fancy. It's like Ikea. <laughs> and then, cabinetry. It's kind of a, um, a light green, green gray, maybe, grayish green. Nice shower. And then, We'll go to the other end. Another bedroom here. Shelving. And then here's your bathroom in here. This one's like nothing fancy, but it is nice. And here, lighting. Looks like the toilets are new because, or newer, because they're the extended long ones. But that's nice. Just a, oh. This is another bedroom upstairs. I guess bedroom number four upstairs. Closet. Okay, so um, not very big, but big enough. TV. Here's your laundry. Huge. Closet with, you know, storage here. Um, Whatever there, and here, cabinets everywhere, and a sink, that's nice, soak stuff. This is, I don't know if this is the master or not, this can't be the master, it's like, so there really isn't upstairs. So. Let's see, I think I didn't show this bedroom here. So this is at the end of the hall. There's a half bath right there. You walk down the hall past the steps and the kitchen, and then you come in here to this room, and then this is the master. Okay, all right, so there you have it. This place has six, six um, bedrooms and five bathrooms. And then water 
separate closet. Uh, there we go. So here's the master closet, which is high end compared to what we saw in the rest of the house. So plenty of room in here. Here's more hanging space behind the doors. Um, what it doesn't have, it looks like here's a hookup for a stacking washer and dryer if you wanted. And then, so master down, five bedrooms up, and then the room over the garage, you know, could be set up for something. Okay. Let me go back and show you where we are. And this leads out onto the patio. So. So here we are, there's the steps, the patio. Here's your kitchen. There we go. All right, so 147 Island Park Drive. Okay, this is the other side. So this is the back of the kitchen. There's a doorway there. This porch wraps around the whole house and leads to the front. But this is another area that you might could put a pool in here. You have to move some stuff, rose beds and other stuff, but it's just a thought. I wanted you to see it.